so we close this project and go to the folder there we're going to create one more exercise saying touch demo you're going to copy the previous project and you're going to paste it in your new folder open your project and let's see how to interact with this component now if you see view controller extends ui view controller you go up you will find ui view controller extends ui responder and ui responder extends so your controller are inherit from the responder your view is also inherit from the responder and it's a responder which gets the events when a user touches the screen and those callback events are registered by this method so being a derived class of a ui responder view controller class can override this method so let's override these three methods called touches began touches ended and touches move i copy them i directly place them in my dot m because they are already declared by my base class so before we start writing any code we'll first write the ns logs and try to understand the flow so i'm going to write ns log that just began ns log that just moved ns logged that is end date now let's run this application and try to investigate the logs okay so when i touch the screen i get touches began when i lift my mouse i get touches ended so every began has ended when i touch drag my mouse on the screen and lift so there are two patterns which i observe when you do a click type event it touches began touches ended when you have to drag the event is began n number of time moved and then ended so every began will have a corresponding ended event move event are not guaranteed it can be zero or n depending upon the dragging of your finger cool so we understood the pattern now if you notice it gives you set of touch object so whenever you user touch the screen and ui touch object gets created now ui touch object right now being a multi touch environment the os might give you more than one touch object depending upon number of finger touch on the screen so for the iphone there are five touches possible and for the ipad there are 10 touches allowed now it uses ns set not ns array it might be because you want only the exclusive touch you don't want a touch object should get repeated so ns set data structure gives you the guarantee that boss it will be only exclusive touch now we are demonstrating single touch event so i want to extract ui touch object from the touch is right so i use touches any object now this particular thing then now for array you need to index with the index right 0 1 2 now with this method on an set it will thus return an object which is a part of the set without index into consideration now but as of now we are just demonstrating single touch we are not at all bothered about the multi touch environment so when we going to go ahead we going to see the multi touch and how to handle multi touch right so i've got touch object and whenever touch object gets created it register the first responsive view inside the entire view hierarchy and takes that first responsive view to the towards the journey which he has towards the window so it will be the topmost view on a stack will be given first preference if that view say i'm not interactive it will go to layer down layer down layer down till it reaches the ui window 
so touch object will register first responsive view and that responsive view we just have to in compare with the respective ui component so right now my use case is what when i touch the pumpkin my label should hide and when i lift my finger from the pumpkin the label should appear again so the touch dot view object if it's equal to equal to pumpkin i would say my label should be hidden there's a hidden property called visible property is defined by the hidden and when i lift my finger i need to make my label visible now let's have an ns log declare let's see whether it's working or not so i touch pumpkin nothing happened touches began and touches ended gets called but pumpkin touch is not executed so let's discuss the scenarios where the responder chain how it register so as we told it will not register the touch will register first responsive view by default all respond all labels or image view are interactive visible so in order to register first thing view should be visible by default hidden property is no so it's visible second the view object should be interactive enable so by default pumpkin is interactive disable so i say pumpkin dot user interaction enable equal to yes now let's run it oh wow it executed right perfect so whichever ui component you want to make it interactive you have to set its user interaction enable property to yes or true now there are few more points one has to consider when it comes to the responder chain uh, pattern parent view needs to be interactive now to demonstrate this let's see the pumpkin parent view is who self dot view if we set its user interaction property to no what happens oh wow that is began that is ended also not getting called that means if parent view is disabled no matter if your parent child view is enabled or disabled so imagine who is a parent view of the entire application it's window right if window is disabled entire app is freeze right so you remember there's a callback call application did become active and application resign active those callbacks are triggered by the os when a window of your application is interactive active that time did become active gets called and when a window become disabled or i would say interactive disabled resign active gets called so if you want to freeze your application for some sort of higher loading happening and all to just make sure that user do not interact with the component you just have to make sure your application window is interactive disabled wow that's cool right so by default user interaction of the controllers view is enabled and the fourth point is very interesting 